Hello, I'm Laurie Watton and we're down here at NI Classical where we're bringing you our first instalment of our new series, Threads. We're going to be deep diving into the culture behind Irish League football tops and we're going to be starting off with a player's perspective from me, Roy Miller. So we're here with one of Lauren's standout players this season, Leroy Miller. Leroy, thanks for coming down and speaking to us today. Thanks, thanks for having me. Um, as a young man growing up then, where did your love for football get begin? Probably just ran, or started probably just around the States, like any young footballer, and just played football and then come up through the ranks at Cernini and then on to Balamina, and from there I come up through the youth teams and made my debut at Balamina. So Leroy, another standout player that's from the same place as yourself then, from Collie Baggy, Stephen Davis. Did you have much comings and goings with him as a young child? Do you remember him in and around the village, coming to school or anything like that? Yeah, yeah actually, I used to go to Buick Memorial Primary School, so I did, and they come in and uh, obviously met all the, the young ones at the time, and I actually gave Steve a shirt because I was captain of the football team mm -hmm. at the time, and I'd give Steve Davis himself a shirt, and all the other young kids got a chance to get shirts and all signed by him, so... Yeah, he was a good inspiration. Obviously, growing up, watching Steve play he was a, a very good player and a good role model for a young person watching him. And the way he conducts himself on and off the pitch is second to none. And no dramas and rough and way. I'm off the pitch, it's all on the pitch, and he lets his talking do that on the pitch. Okay, so Leroy, talk me through then. Are there any shirts that you see here from playing, you know, from coming up through the youth teams? Yes, there's a good few there. So there is a debut shirt, I think that's. Yeah, there it is there. That's my debut shirt there. I remember Glenn Ferguson, he had gave me my gave me my first professional contract, so he did at the time and you made your debut in 2013, 2014 2013 season? against Ngannon, so I did I used to play left wing back then and there wasn't much to me back then, so there wasn't I've changed a lot since then. Okay, Leroy, talk me through this one. Oh, there's a special one there. That was my first senior trophy, so it was with Balamena. Um 2017 League, League Cup, Cup final uh, against Carrick. We managed to win 2-0 on the night. Alan Jenkins got his goal. Conor McCloskey scored an absolute screamer that night, so he did. And it's a good moment, not just obviously for a team collective, obviously it was a good moment. Individual, it was good for me, but for Alan Jenkins, it was his last season. So it was, and he managed to get a major piece of silverware, silverware for me. And obviously he's got silverware, got his goal in the night, and yeah, good. Fantastic memories for you, playing among legends then too. Leroy, tell me about the influence that Alan Jenkins had on yourself then. Yeah, Alan Jenkins, perfect role model. Obviously I was coming through at the time, I was only 16, 17, training with the first team. It was one of the ones that would put the arm around you and obviously you get some players when you're up training with the first team and that, they're screaming and all at you, but he was one of the boys that would come to you and put the arm around you as I said and make you feel comfortable and what a player he was on the pitch. Um, my game now, we played the same same position as well. I've brought so much into my game that Alan Jenkins just to do. So, I, Craig and player, and absolute gentleman off the pitch. Really right, this shirt was the shirt that you were awarded at Palomino Captain. Played yeah, it was game. obviously good good time. So it was David and Brian showed a lot of faith in me. They gave me the captain role, and it was one. I'm very proud of, so it was obviously not many people can say they captained their hometown club, so to David and Brian, very thankful for it and grateful for what I've achieved. Miller takes on Canning and beats him, curls it towards the far post. And what a terrific opening goal by Leroy Miller. So we'll move on to this one then. Any memories in this particular shirt, Leroy? Yep. That's the one we finished second in the league. We just fell short to Linfield uh, that year, so we did. Then Phil probably just had that know-how in the last month or two just to get over the line and we maybe lacked a wee bit more experience. But a lot of fond memories in that one. League Cup final as well. Fell short to Linfield in that as well. So that's Linfield for you. They've got the know-how just mm -hmm. to know how to get over the line. And then we played in Europe in that one as well. We got drawn against the Faroe, Faroe Islands team. We played NSI Runovic. 1-2-0 on the night. Uh, got myself on the score sheet. So... It's a good night that Jude Winchester also scored an absolute worldie that night as well. So, yeah, very fond memories. Fantastic achievement for yourself, of course. And now we'll move on to this 
I believe this is an Irish Cup shirt. Yeah, we wore that in Irish Cup. Um, I've actually, Bala Mallard's the first thing comes to, springs to my mind. Quarter final Irish Cup. I've got a funny story here. Um, Travelled down the team bus with the team. It was sick the night before, so I was, and got down there and couldn't play. Covid. Covid. Yeah. Comes to us all, I suppose. I wasn't. That this time. is when Covid wasn't really announced, so oh, okay. it wasn't. And it was about a month later, Covid actually hit. So, so it you was were flu, one of the early birds then. It was flu, flu type symptoms, uh -huh. so it was. So it could have been that. Couldn't play, and then semi final. We were also in the Irish Cup semi final against Korean. Uh, managed to beat them in penalties. Got ourselves to the final. Fell short again to Glen Torn, so we did. Robbie McDade scored a late extra time goal, 116th minute, I think so. And Paul O'Neill also scored in that night, and he still lets me know the last day because obviously <laughs> he's a teammate of it, Lauren. Now, Leroy, we will go to this, which I believe was your last shirt for Palomina. Yeah, Talk last me shirt. That one. Yeah, last shirt. Um, tough on that, so it was tough on a tag, and um, still not over that one. Um, can't manage, still can't remember how we got beat and I've, I haven't watched the highlights back to this day, don't think I could. Um, all I can say is fuel for the fire in the future and hopefully we can, of course. We can add to it. So Leroy, moving on to your time then at Larne, we've only got one shirt to discuss but what a season it has been so far in this one. Could you talk us through the season so far and your thoughts on it? Yeah, it's been a good season so it has, obviously we get the County Arnhem Shield We've won it and got it over the line, so we have, but obviously we're going well in the league. We've done nothing. Mm -hmm. You don't talk about what you're doing, you've talked about what you've done, I've always been told. So, as I said, we've done nice nothing. Words. And we'll, we'll just keep striving for the end of the season and keep doing what's got us there, and hopefully we can be successful come the end of the season. And what was it that drew you to sign for Lauren? Well, I'd speak to, obviously, Gaffer, Tiernan and Kenny at long length, so I died just before I'd sign, and they just reassured me what way the club's going. Obviously, I've looked from afar. Obviously, I was at Balmina and I've looked at Lauren, obviously, progressing. And there's been, obviously, people going about Kenny. There's this big investment that's mm -hmm. come in, but it's not just that. He's made it all about the community, so he has. And it's a very family club. And Certainly, you can I've, see that from, from yeah, the outside. Certainly. I've been very surprised, so I have, since I've walked in, because everyone's made me feel at home. And I've said numerous times in many interviews that feels like I've been at Lauren as years, so it does. I'm just so settled and so comfortable in my surroundings and loving every minute. And uh, how are you finding full-time football? Yeah. Move on to this shirt just yeah. while. Loving full-time football, so I um, think it suits me down to the ground, so it does, because I was, I was training at Palomina part-time, two times a week. I was working also, and then, believe it or not, I've probably more time now than I ever have, so I have since I became full-time, so enjoying it, loving it. And I think everybody can see that there are great things happening at Ember Park, as you say, the community. And just to just talk us through what what's happening there and what do you know what progression you see. Yeah, there, obviously there needs to be progression off the pitch with Kenny's Kamani's investment in that. There needs to be improved on the pitch, but it's not it's not just all about on the pitch. It's off the pitch as well. You've got the academy boys are starting to come through the facilities in and around the club, the community club, the fans coming in now. The fans have been fantastic all year, so they have and. One thing I would just like to say is we're, we haven't done anything yet and we'll need the fans there so we will, so hopefully they can keep coming between now and the end of the year. And Leroy, tell me, what are your aspirations then for the future moving forward? Obviously I just see myself at Lauren now, you can't look too far ahead. Um, loving every minute at Lauren Football Club, so I am. Um, we've got our in-house target, so we do, I'll not say too much about them. <laughs> and Hopefully come the end of the year we can achieve them and we'll be successful if we do so. I see the purple bricks logo there. What's what's Kenny like? What's your your personal opinion of him and around the club? Yeah, an absolute gentleman. So he is Kenny. Um, he's so down to earth. That's one thing. Obviously, when I'd met him just before the time, saying from Balamina, he came to my house and all, and he's just so humble. He came, he came into the house. He took his shoes and all off. Didn't even have to tell him. And that's that's makes the difference. Makes the difference. So it does. It just it speaks volumes of people. Mm -hmm. so it does. And. Can't really rate him say much more about him, so I can't he's just an absolute gentleman. Real community man. So I see you're wearing one, but if you had to choose from a favourite from any of these learn tops, which one would it be? A lot of nice tops there, so there is, but I'd probably have to go for one we're actually wearing this year and it would probably be this one. Just we've wore it away so we have and it's a lovely top and 
think I actually scored my first Lauren goal in that as well, away to Crusaders, so yeah, lovely top. Do you notice any differences? Oh, I know I can clearly see differences in this top. This one is from the early 90s, I believe. So how would you say that football tops have improved since? Yeah, they've changed so much, obviously. I've got this one on me here now and it's heavy. And now, obviously, the football tops nowadays are all skin tight. They're, they're very light on you. And I think that's, that's not just about football tops. I think that's about football in this country as well. The product we have now and around the leagues, it's second to none. And Hopefully we can keep moving forward and hopefully Lauren can be at the pinnacle of that. So this has been Leroy Miller. These are his threads and remember to subscribe to the official Niffle YouTube channel and comment and let us know who you would like to see on next.